Hi, welcome to Burma in May. I'm Sarah Smith and I'll be your student tour guide. I'm from Newton, Massachusetts and I'm a senior and I've been at Burma since seventh grade. Come on with me. In the Thompson Gymnasium, students work out in the fitness center, play basketball in the winter, and use the locker room. In addition to the facilities at Brimmer, students practice at the Dedham Street Field or Pine Manor College. The Country Club and the Longwood Cricket Club are used for specific sports. All students pre-K through 12 eat in the cafeteria. A brand new cafeteria will open with the new addition in the fall of 2017. Lunch is included in the tuition price. There is a hot meal served daily, as well as a salad bar, sandwich bar, and soup during the winter months. Additionally, we are a nut and shellfish free campus, catering to the needs of students with allergies. The Ruth Corkin Auditorium is a multi-purpose space used for theater productions, assemblies, and classes. The middle and upper school have separate productions, and both divisions put on a fall play and a spring musical. Students are encouraged to get involved in productions both on and off the stage. There are various science courses offered in both the middle and upper school. There are four science classrooms with lab style countertops for a hands-on experience. We have a STEAM program that is very popular and incorporates all areas of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Please check out the academics tab on the Brimmer website to learn all about our signature programs. This is the Pappas Lab. The Pappas Lab is home to several technology classes. Technology is an integral part of everything we do at Brimmer. We have a one-to-one -one iPad program, an online student planner called eBackpack, and classrooms equipped with Apple TVs. The Anne Sterner Library is going to be converted into a learning commons and will open in the fall of 2017 with the new edition. The new space will continue to include written information as well as encouraging online resources. There will be a space for students to not only collaborate, but quiet areas will be designated for student use. It will also be a hub for tutoring as well as math and writing centers. The only wing classrooms are designated for humanities and languages. The classrooms are set up for Socratic discussions and collaborative learning. There are three languages offered in the middle and upper school, Spanish, French, and Mandarin. And this is the upper school and middle school music room. The middle school choir, May Corral, and the upper school choir, Green Line, are both extremely popular options across both divisions. In addition to the middle and upper school band room, there are several practice rooms for students to practice instruments in a quiet space. Typically, middle school sports teams will practice here on campus. This space is also used for recess and PE classes. On the other side of the field runs the MBTA that provides service on the Green Line into Boston. About 30% of our students use the train to get to and from school each day. Let's head to the art club. This is the Corkin Visual Arts Center, or as we call it, the Art Barn. Let's go inside. The Robert Lloyd Corkin Art Center, or as we call it, the Art Barn, is where middle and upper school art classes take place. The first floor is primarily used for middle school art classes, as well as studio art classes, with a pottery room in the back. Upstairs, there is a second studio used for photo classes, and three desktop computers used for photo and video editing. You can often find students utilizing the 3D printers for various projects. Hope you got a good sense of why I think Brimmer is a good fit for you. We'd love to see you on campus, so please contact our admissions office to set up a real life tour and interview.